Okay. Yeah, the difference between buying um, and selling, um, segmentation, um, the um, product uh, penetration or market penetration. Huh? And I remember the other one. <laughs> Um, good, good, good. Then we spoke about the technique. Uh, uh. Um, yeah. Think of anything else? Okay. Anything else? Um. Yeah, for sure. But it doesn't really come to my mind. But... Okay. <clears throat> Last lesson we discuss about service marketing. Yes, during our last yeah. lesson with service marketing, we discuss about uh, heterogeneity and we discuss about perishability, tangibility. Yes. <clears throat> These are the characteristics of service marketing. Yes. And discuss about branding, why the branding is important, why the brands yeah. really you know, need to be designed according to expectation of the clients, really we need to reflect it, what is happening. Okay, we discuss micro environment, macro environment, we discuss about um, pastel, we discuss about SWOT, we yeah. discuss about unsuff metric, we discuss about portal generic strategies, we discuss about uh, yes, these all you know discussion were our was yeah. so next you know we are moving a few things we missed really we not discussed so <clears throat> so welcome let's we'll, we well aware of my, what is the market we discuss about definition of marketing but we missed you know some marketing concept which okay. really we need to which we need to address one of your learning outcome which is supposed to be. Yeah, could you share with me one, one, sorry. No problem. Thank you. <clears throat> yes, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so um, we will a little bit demonstrate customer value how we can create it okay. so when we are meeting their basic things our basic needs then mm -hmm. we are meeting their expectation then yeah. what their desires are we are meeting but when we are doing something un unanticipated like you know they were not expecting that if they buy one thing they will get something free with it yeah like you know we are they were not aware of you know we'll serve the food within a room yes which mm -hmm. is a free yeah. a free room delivery they were not aware of we'll offer them free transport mm -hmm. this is unexpected yes unanticipated really unexpected we can say but that's the that's mean their value customer value will be very high yeah when they're not expecting that we are delivering something yeah marketing concept we discuss about marketing mean to satisfy the customer needs and wants yeah and our key focus is on the customer needs and wants okay with passage of time marketing concept is tremendously changed really significant change last many years so like it was the initially concept was product or the service orientation concept. Mm -hmm. then operation or the production orientation concept. Then it came selling orientation concept. Then it came marketing orientation concept. Then it came social marketing. No, we have other is green marketing, ethical marketing. Fair trade and all these are the marketing concept, you know, is developed recent. <clears throat> okay, so when initially first concept was 
production cap <clears throat> so according to the pro production concept orientation if we are focusing on it so we need to be look around the innovative strong hospitality product mm -hmm. satisfying high demand of customer we need to be focus on the new technology generating mass production at lower price so in the production orientation that was we when we'll book you know all the rooms ultimately profit will come yes yeah. even drop the price so we that was the mass production or we'll produce in mass in a millions yes ultimately lower prices mm -hmm. so but now is the concept is changed which and according to that concept was the profit through mass sales you produce more cost drop you sell more you earn the profit happy days yeah now is the con then the concept is came product orientation concept existing hospitality product and services not new one existing one maintain and improve the existing product minor improve or adoption of the existing marketing mix what what is the marketing mix um is the ah uh, is the total um, actions that we need to um put in place to reach the um i don't know the company goals to sell more or satisfy customers now where we learn about four p's yes so product price promotion and place yes which we oh, yeah. then is a new concept seven p's we discuss about as well process people and places yes yeah so that's our four p's and seven p's concept so that was is really we need to be then the profit depend upon the stable market condition so we'll make the product that's according to the but there is a focus on the market condition we earn the if the economy is growing we'll earn the profit if not growing we're not going to earn it that's the product orientation that's the more emphasis was yeah then it's selling concept existing product and services existing and new facilities aggressive selling that was you know will you promote come on guys this week is the last week sale like in the uk sports direct they have many years offer or the promotion is 75 percent off yeah so many years they have a same promotion 75 percent aggressive selling and the promotion yeah. tactic and they try to be hired the student under uh 28 or under 25 because to pay the less wages that's you know yeah. aggressive to save it and just you know earn the profit so profit through sales volume that was in a selling concept more yeah. then the new concept is came marketing orientation business and the layer market we need to be focused on the business and the layer customer needs and wants so under the marketing orientation concept is focus was the needs and the wants of the customer like yeah. we discussed you know in our previous lesson integrated marketing including marketing research integrated any activity we'll do will should be based on the needs and the wants of the customer we have to yeah. do research to identify what and wants or then we need to address it accordingly instead of you know you just promote it mm -hmm. but there are lot, lot of discussion in academia sometime marketer create a demand create a wants yes even no wants was the mobile phone but actually the companies created yes no it's become a need you know you can't survive it without it yeah so we need to think about as well under the but actually original concept is really you know we need to be focused on the needs and want profit through customer satisfaction so key element we earn profit but the customer satisfaction is a uh, real thing really is key element of marketing activities yeah and then now is came so societal marketing orientation where we not looking our needs and wants we looking as a community and environment 
that's fine it's a need and want could be could be people could be very pleased we produce the goods cheaper if we'll generate electricity through coal and mines and various other people will be pleased yes they have to pay less bills but if but the people now well aware of the what impact will be on the environment yeah so social concern in hospitality business activity is a lot so that's why we need to be focused on that integrated marketing which takes into account the needs and the wants of the consumer and the society not just the consumer as a society needs like in china you making you producing you are offerings but we need to think about the pollution level is such a high yeah so that's you know the profit to enhance the image of and the customer satisfaction in the, enhance the image we are well we planted such a million trees yes we helping we cutting the uh, co2 level so all this really we need to be focused we already learn yeah. about micro macro environment then we learn about the business cycle mm -hmm. it's like industry cycle and the business cycle so in a business is it to make a good marketing campaign we need to look around the business cycle as well on which stage of the business we are in now we yeah. are the growth we are the growth stage we are the peak stage or we are decline stage then yeah. is then is growth then is peak then is decline this is carry on happening <clears throat> so at the peak stage if we advertise a lot what's the mean to advertise because we are going to be really we are going to get the sale doesn't matter we advertise or not like you now apple even advertise or not they are the peak stage really any new product they bring it they just a little introduce it they will get you know the customer yeah. so we need to think about if that we are decline stage we change the product design will come on the growth stage again yeah so that's we need to be focus on marketing uh so these are the some slides which i think so i mentioned you to good to use and just revise okay let's will go one other okay we discuss in we discuss on the basis of how we can segment we discuss about target yes how we can target the market creation these Okay, we discuss. Did we discuss quarter five forces? Yes. Yeah. Here is a question of the quarter five thread of the new entrants, like we discuss about international competition within a specialty industry. So we can look around when we'll do environmental analysis. But please revise these slides as well. Okay. Then next we. I'm just here. You know, okay last lesson we discuss about research okay we discuss about two types of research what those were um uh, it was the primary research and the secondary research okay brilliant and the primary research was um kind of like direct one so um surveys or something direct with um consumers or potential consumers and the secondary one was data that we can find um through on, like maybe online or we can buy mm. and are made by other um companies yes primary research is the first hand information no one else use it before the secondary which is already published reports somebody already tested and used so that's a major difference between primary and secondary okay sometime we can get the information as a marketing information internally like you know held by the organization that's a secondary we know we store the data of the customer we have all the record what time of the year they visit what time of the year and how much they spend what they liking disliking and all like you know sometime when you call to book order food order online or on the phone they ask you few question where you live you know what you like what sort of food you want 
then next time they can say okay you mr so or mrs so and so know uh, what thing you would like to or where will deliver you you want me to deliver on the fourth this and this address yes yeah? so that's yeah. the internal record will give us a lot of information about the past history of the customer external of course we can do external research through it could be uh, first uh, hand information normally we can do survey and all of this that could be even scandry which is a published information did we discuss about qualitative quantitative no what is it no qualitative what is meant by um what qualitative is uh, um um the, the quality is more it's not numbers is about the quality yeah the behavior of the people is information qualitative research in hospitality like observation it's your observation yes yeah. you know you know there are people not you know behave like uh, they should behave the workplace so that's the observation method yes that's a qualitative research depth interview could qualitative yes that's not a quantitative we're not getting the numbers we are the quality of the information yeah yeah group is known as a group discussion like between you know two groups we can say what do you think about the product yes yeah yeah tip question in survey but when we looking the quantitative research he used the wide range of method to obtain and analyze the numerical data like we yeah. see family size we looking 10 to 15 year age we looking 20 to 30 we looking the room occupancy how many room is empty what type of the room which you know side north south view people like the rooms yes mm -hmm. so these are these are the sort of the numbers you know where we looking yes yeah. how many rooms we have towards north how many we have a towards south so that's all is a numbers yes yeah so where we can look around the correlation like the weather and the ice cream sales is a relationship because when the hot weather the ice cream sales normally increase does it make sense yeah yeah definitely so then we are looking in on the when the price and the sales have a link when we increase the price sale drop yes is the quantitative numbers we can say you know how many million been sold when we drop this price and this level mm -hmm. so qualitative research yes different type of techniques we could use if you want we what is meant by sampling um a, a sample is something that we can um um something that we can give or like we can like a try try maybe try a product it can be oh, yes you right you know like so a free 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 sample like in as the little stall you know people display yes they yeah. say oh it's a free test it yes yeah so that that represent you know whole population yes whole their product what sort of the taste will be yeah so okay these are really quantitative errors we don't need to be learn about sometime we have error we don't have a right sample size you know we'll if we'll just dip our hand and test it maybe that's not the represent all the product quality so we can say the sample is not you know if we looking pepsi pepsi normal pepsi sugar free pepsi and various other pepsi and we'll saying no everyone taste pepsi is same because we're not doing the right sample yes yeah we, we are testing one and we are applying to the whole we are doing research in yorkshire and we are saying you know all the uk population is behave like this first of all i'm just giving for the argument sake yes yeah when we'll say you know we been in rome and we thinking oh no whole italy is such a busy yes everywhere you know the, there is a very difficult to park a car and this and that that's not the case because we test the sample is just in rome not other part of the italy yeah will be totally different so that's meant by you know the sample error yes our sampling technique was not it will say you know the people every 10th people will choose in the so might be every 10th people we are choosing that's all coming the mail 
are female so that's not mm-hmm. represent you know the true views of so our yeah. sampling technique we need to be responding mm-hmm. there is maybe the people respond some people were hurry maybe we were asking the question at the train at the bus station and they in a rush so it could be errors in yes yeah so we we address it and respondent errors uh, in which investigator errors could be maybe that the person who is asking the question is not appropriate or don't have a knowledge about the culture itself yeah creative error these are the errors could be happen and we need to be look around you know address it administrative mean how we can analyze and save the data maybe we not you know properly when we'll put in a system when we'll do right to left left to right you know some writing in some languages maybe it's give the totally different meanings to yeah administrative properly okay the no day mystery shopper is very popular as the research method yes yeah you do you do mystery shopper and mystery or customer audit uh telephonic mobile survey online these are all you know what is a yeah. close and open question close question open uh, question customer question option six um, yeah. yeah sorry yeah um question um uh, customer only really reply with a yes or a no and they won't add anything to it whereas like an open question is a question that um gives the opportunity requires the um and the question is asked to to actually talk okay good yes well done great that's that's your right you know where we we getting their opinion yes yeah like in this box we have a close question tick boxes and we have a open question where we giving the space you know they can express their views yeah okay so marketing research could be online offline all so that's about the marketing research which we didn't cover okay what about the contemporary mm-hmm. and managing the contemporary so we looking the key plan and manage complex yes destination product we can look around uh contemporary the things really changing and we need to reflect it what are the changes those and the, all the marketing activities we need to plan it accordingly yes so planning yeah. desire to avoid negative consequences so we need to look around the avoid the negative consequences tourism symbolic or stick with the re- recreation or the conservations which we normally we look around pluralist normally these concept you know came from um, from the history as well as all the different languages so we looking the pluralistic which is such you know the everything is a clear and well acceptable politically we looking the strategic and integrative strategic is mean the long term yes regional level we when we do the planning development of the planning we need to look around the destination planning what is the destination where we want to be yes yeah. if we are doing in italy something in rome in north in south so we need to think about you know destination planning we have to plan it maybe we can need to look around the weather we maybe we need to look around the local people taste there maybe local tradition local culture yeah of the planning we need to justified if i'm planning this why i'm planning this based on the local culture local people taste and things if i want to sell this product if like mcdonald selling halal and vegetarian and various other dishes they are need to be justified why we are doing this if we don't do it nobody will buy it so what's the point yeah. like you know they not selling veggie burger in various country but they are if they don't sell in india more vegetarian people living there so they have to yeah to get the market share so rule of the game we need to be understand yes how much you know the tax we need to where we need to advertise we can't advertise on the child yes like you know uh, advertising standard we need to be understand as well effectiveness in a mixed economy is quite you know we need to understand what sort of the economy the mixed economy or open economy or closed economy economic system of that country 
yeah. more cap more capitalist or more socialist or those sort of you know ideas about yep. the planning could be related to the idea of the governance we need to look around the external environment destination yes what we are doing economic situation we need to look around like we discuss about external environment yeah so that's part of the pest pest and pesto or Brilliant. Yes, you're right. You know, that's the past of the pest of the pestle forces, which we discussed. Okay. So boosterism, that's sort of, you know, five approaches. We need to focus how we'll boost it, you know, are these are the five things which we then we can look around the economy industry oriented approach. We can use the physical actual approach, community oriented approach or sustainable tourism approach. So these are the four approach, uh, five approaches we normally use. So when we are looking the no single agreed approach, there is a different approaches. They have a different views, things you know how we'll plan the better. But there is a no single agreed approach. Yes, we we'll, we can't in marketing is a social science. It can't be agree. Like you know, we thinking them like you know. Of course, democracy is a good way of going. But maybe not everywhere is a democracy is applicable because people's mind, you know, not accepted. Yeah. Maybe I'll to transform the society and accept it. So that sort of, you know, discussion could be so in the planning perspective as well, we don't have an agreed one approach. Okay, organization have a different traditions and responsibility. We can look around the single agency destination responsibility. Are the small location high economic dependencies could be sustainable destinations where we can use like in the European country almost every country have um, democratic government yes the creole rule more is the rule of law so is easily that throughout the EU we can implement the thing properly no doubt is the language barrier could be right to left driving could be one of few issues yes but still this issue is exactly the same does it make sense yeah yeah up, up, yeah so this is a bit you know the reading list as well if you want more but we will do the separate the, can i find both those um are these okay so that's the question i had to ask you last time as well so um there are recommended readings here um but are these on moodle or i need to find them myself <clears throat> uh we have some books on moodle which is one of this you know which is i think so i mentioned you david boy that's the book which is on moodle okay so that's you don't need to really buy you can uh, alternative books you can a lot of you can find online a bit of matter of research i can find online you said um, uh, yes you you can find you know if you do a bit research i'll i'll find for you or you can find your own you know like okay, you know yeah. like we discuss about segmentation introduction hospitality yes. uh yeah. Then we discuss about these things. Yes, relationship marketing uh, sort of is good to read. Managing, managing customer satisfaction that we did and something. If you give me one second, because I actually give me a second. Sorry. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Because <laughs> I have um, almost. Video um, the H and management program from the compilation of the municipality. Mm -hmm. um, that's the one you sent, I think. Last time. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send you a few books, you know, and I'm going to introduce you just. Sorry, I'm not. Yeah, that's okay.
Yes, I think so. We left few things to do. One minute, sorry, I'm missing.